There are two attributes that go into a great climber, technique and strength. At the highest level, all the top climbers have a great deal of both, however oftentimes certain climbers are associated with one or the other. A climber like Tomo Narasaki is often associated with a lot of strength and power, whereas a climber like Akio Noguchi is often associated with impeccable technique. However, just because you are associated with one trait doesn't mean that you're not well versed in the other. Such is the case with one of America's best known climbers who is associated with her incredible feats of strength. I'm talking about the one and only Alex Puccio. Now, before we get into today's beta breaks, we first have to take a moment and understand just how strong Alex really is. Here are clips of her one-arm pull-ups, muscle-ups, and 6mm pull-ups. With her incredible strength, she has been regarded as one of the best female US boulders, taking off numerous double-digit ascents and doing incredibly well in competitions. However, because of her incredible strength, oftentimes people think that she is not that technical. Such as this slab problem from Munich 2014 World Championship. Sorry, you think this is the type of problem that might suit her? No. Very <laughs> <laughs> honest, very honest with you. That's why I said it would be really good for oh, her okay. when she tops out. Like, and you know that the other problems will suit you more. Then uh, that will be mentally really good for her. Why not? Why? Why doesn't the type of uh, I problem suit her? I think she got a lot of confidence uh, in her strength. Uh, I think she's technically a pretty good climber as well, but you have to believe it yourself. But maybe she will get some faith. You see? Oh, how long you are! There you <laughs> go. Alex Petrio, top sides. Wonderful start for the American. Despite commentators thinking that she wouldn't do well on the slab, she easily flashed the problem and proved to us that she is very technical. During Vail 2013 World Cup, Alex was able to show her smart creative thinking and technique. The foothold on problem number one in finals was extremely slippery and plenty of other competitors struggled to stay on the foothold. I'm not sure what he's going to do. They've, I mean, they both had such incredible seasons this year. Um, to get When not being able to stick the first move, she adapted quickly and used the seams of the walls as a foothold instead of the actual foot. A really bad, and the key she really needs, just needs to get up on her arms, be confident, and press it out. And there we go. There it is. Uh, Pooch figured out the, uh, the right method there. It took her a couple tries, but she isn't afraid to try something different. If, if something's not working, she doesn't get tunnel vision and try it over and over and over and over again. She, she's not afraid to, to try something new, and I think that's something that you have to be able to think on the fly like that, especially yeah. in finals like this. Absolutely. One and now she's, now she's up and established. She's absolutely rocketing through here. Uh, I'm sure she's going to put her toe on and go for the top now. Yes, this will be the start the American is looking for. Great start for Alex Piccio. Took it a few goals. Using the seams and features that are already built into the climbing wall is completely legal. And even Alex Johnson commented that Alex is able to think on the fly and change her beta if something doesn't work. She uses the seam later again on problem number two. But when you combine her incredible strength and smart technique, you get Vail 2017 World Cup Finals. On women's number one, there were bad slopers that transitioned onto a black volume. Getting to the black zone volume was difficult, and even if you got there, it was difficult to move off of it. Shauna Coxie was the only other climber to set up for the finish that was thought to be a two-handed dyno. Yeah, we've seen, we're keeping an eye on Shauna Coxie and Yoshiyuki. We've seen a few speed climbers that trying the bouldering and the Tiganova in Asia. I think she just had that with like one finger, did you see that? Shauna just checking the time and she needs Ten to. Seconds. Ten seconds to go, Yoshiyuki tops. All the men top boulder one. Shauna reaches across, she's got five, four, three. Oh no. And she does not get it. Alex, however, on the finish, found a beta break and wowed the crowd. About getting injured. <laughs> and I think that's a really good mindset. Just give it everything and see where it leads. So first look at women's one. Yeah, you can see how powerful that first move was already. These volumes get uh, exponentially more difficult with the uh, heat. So the flat hold volumes, they, they just get more and more slippery whenever you get uh, more and more sweaty or your skin's like thin, which by now, after how many boulders these guys have done, like those volumes feel really slippery. And I think, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, oh, go ahead. Well, so I think Alex needs to get her foot up here is what she's doing wrong. She needs to match feet and get that higher foot. But that worked. I don't know if she got her foot past that black tape, but... There's no sign of a judge on the stage, so it appeared not. Already a really solid start from Alex. This is the first attempt. Yeah, looking really strong. 
Top section, no gimme though. No, this last move doesn't look like a joke. Like there's no joke to me. I think she's really gonna have to commit to going both hands and squeezing on that uh, last hold. She's set up though. She's not looked troubled at all on this attempt. No, she's, she's been on the wall a long time already. She's looking really strong. But in complete control. Crowd going crazy. Oh. They'll go even crazier if she can top this. Yeah. Perfect start for Alex Puccio. Good flash for her. That's, oh. that's what the crowd think of it. That wasn't the beta I was expecting too on that finish. She went left hand and just uh, caught it like that. Yeah, she was uh, thinking slightly outside the box. Yeah, that's when probably you, good. When you see a hold like that, a big compression volume, obviously your first instinct is to grab it Both the sides. Left hand, yeah. with the left hand, the right with the right hand. Yeah. But uh, yeah, great from Alex. In past episodes, I've showcased really big moves that are often pretty obvious to see that the beta is broken. However, in this case, it's the subtlety of knowing to break the beta using strength and technique is what's really important. Alex shows that breaking beta doesn't always have to mean dynoing past everything, but it also means finding small subtle advantages and sort of mini beta breaks to add up to an amazing climber. To date, after two knee surgeries and a neck surgery, Alex is still climbing double digit, doing front levers, and one arm lock offs. Thanks Alex, and keep crushing it.